Recraft's latest AI image generator, Recraft V3, is said to outperform Midjourney and other AI models. I'm really impressed when I see that it can generate such long texts, but that's only a small part of it. In this video, I will walk you through all the details you can't miss about Recraft V3. This is the web page. You can also find the official link in the description. Create a new project, and we are able to generate images here. On the left, we can select the V3 model and the styles we want, such as photo realism, illustration, clay, etc. The aspect ratio is adjustable by dragging the slide. Then we can simply enter the prompt here. Take this cute red panda for example. You can do further settings like adding negative prompt, or assign specific color and background to the generation. Next, click on Recraft. And there it is. It creates two images for free users each time. And you can see that the image is really realistic and natural. We copy and paste one image. Then go to the Variate panel. We can choose different aspect ratio and generate variations based on the current image. And the image created will be similar to the original with other aspect ratio. In order to test its ability to generate images, I use various prompts to create these images with more art styles. From the results I get here, we can basically tell that the image quality is among the top AI image generators. However, if the camera angle is wide and the character's face is small, the face will be creepy when we zoom in. This is also a problem for most AI models. Besides image generation, there are other photo editing functions worth mentioning. There is an upscale button on the top toolbar. If we click on it, the image we select will be upscaled to higher resolution. This is the comparison. We can easily tell that the image quality gets much better. The modify area button allows you to change a certain part of the image with prompt. Like this. I turn the firelight to bubbles easily. This remove background button can help you erase the background of the image. And the change background button gives you power to add a new background according to the prompt you enter. The new background also matches the character well. The erase button is for erasing unwanted objects. But sometimes you need to try more times for better outcome. Another cool feature is this frame button. Use it to drag an area. Then place any image inside the frame. And add text somewhere. Then it will refine the image according to the layout. This could be super useful when you are making a design or a poster. Basically, these are the major feature of Recraft V3. For now they provide 50 credits for free users, and you may get more if you invite friends to join. In my perspective, Recraft AI is one of the top AI photo editing tools based online. For some users who would also like using desktop AI tools, I would recommend trying Hitpaw Photopea as well. It is another powerful AI photo editing software integrated with most often used AI functions you might need, such as 4K high quality AI image generation. Up to 32K AI Photo Enhancer to bring you image details to the next level. Clean Background Remover Intelligent Object Remover AI Portrait Generation, etc. Alright, that's the tutorial for today. Hope you find this video useful, and please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more AI contents and tips. Thanks for watching. See you next time.